Hi guys, it's Jimmy from Cops, Names, and Things. So today I have a baby um, gift idea for you today. And this is just um, the first, we're actually going to use this um, little baby wipe container. We're going to decorate it. We're going to, um, we're going to use these beautiful napkins that I found at the dollar store. And we're going to decoupage them on here. And I'm going to show you um, this really cute um the whole little gift that you can make for someone that's really special. So for this craft, I just have napkins. I got these at the dollar store. And then I just have um, one of these little um, baby wipe containers, plastic, really simple. Um, it was a buck. And then um, I have my deco podge or mod podge. Okay. And then I have a brush. And I also have um, some scissors too. Okay. So um, all you're going to do is open your napkins first. Just like that, okay. And this a little bit up so you can see it a little better, okay. And then um, you're going to open up your napkins, okay. Just like so. And you just want the very top layer, okay. That's what we're going to use, okay? So you can kind of discard the other one. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm actually, because this is so bountiful with flowers, if you look here, see how it's so bountiful? There's hardly any white, so I'm just going to cut off those panels just in that first layer, okay? But I really um, like giving these as a gift. I know you've seen the ones that are covered like with fabric maybe, and then you have put a ribbon around, and those are really pretty too. Um, but you can also decoupage them, and they're really beautiful too. Um, I'm actually going to make this really cool idea, so I'll put a link behind. Um, just as a really simple, cheap um, gift that you can give someone that's very useful. Um, so I'm just going to cut out. I, I'm thinking it'll probably take about four panels to do um, the outside. And I love making baby presents um, and baby gifts. I think they're so cool and you can just um, really personalize them and make them a lot of fun. And there's so many beautiful um, paper napkins, you know, nowadays that you can see. So um, if we look here, we can see that one of these actually fits fairly nicely on top. So all you need is one napkin for this particular style. And then I'll use this other one kind of to cover up my edges, or I'm thinking I'll cover those with ribbon. So um, all you're going to do when you Mod Podge is we're just going to brush on a layer of Mod Podge. So I'll just open my Mod Podge here, bring it closer so you can see a little better. And I'm going to take my foam brush and I'm going to brush one side just very liberally with, um, with Mod Podge. Okay. And kind of the good thing about cutting out the flowers is that you wouldn't have to be perfect and there would be kind of less room for, for bubbles and that kind of stuff. So we do have to be kind of careful since we're using a panel, but I really like the way that that looks. So. I'm just going to try to be really careful, but that's a great thing about um, just using a, using the individual flowers that you cut out from the napkin or whatever you want to use. But Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my napkin and I'm going to stick it on here, okay? Just like that. And I'm going to try to straighten it as much as I can. I want to get out all the bubbles that I can. Okay, and I'm just going to very gently smooth it out as much as I can. So I'm going to try to get out all the wrinkles, but it's okay if there's a couple, I think. I think it gives it a little bit of texture, which is fine. Okay, and you just want to be very gentle, okay? See how I rip there? You don't want to do that. So we'll probably have to take a piece of, of something and cover that up. But just be very, very gentle, okay? And this is gonna be the bottom part. So um, for the top part, I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna liberally spread um, Mod Podge over it. 
and then I'm going to actually allow it to dry. Um, that's a good trick too um, with Mod Podge and with decoupaging. You do want your layers to, to dry completely. And that does make a huge difference with bubbles and air pockets and everything. So, um, all right, so I can just um, set this on top. I'm going to get it as straight as I can and very gently I'm just going to tap it down. Just tap, 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 right down, just like that. Okay. And don't worry about the edges because um, we are going to, um, we'll match podge over those too, okay? So um, this is part one. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this dry um, for a few minutes. Sorry, I'm trying to get you in frame a little bit. And I'm just going to um, let this dry. And then I'm going to do maybe about two coatings of Mod Podge on top. But I'll show you how to do that. And then um, we're actually going to put um, just a bead of um, ribbon around the edges. I think that would be really pretty. Um, just our corresponding um, ribbon just to add a little bit more. So I'll see you Hi back guys. in a few minutes. So I'm back. So um, what I did was um, I am now, I allowed it to dry for like 10 minutes. And now I'm going to put on a layer of Mod Podge. Now the tin, like you would think that you would just, you know, brush it on like you normally would. But um, the, the napkin is so very sensitive that you actually want to pounce on it. So let me show you what I mean here. So this is the side that isn't done. You're going to take your brush and you just gently, very, very gently, you just bounce on top of it. And that doesn't disturb, and I mean very, very gently. You just want to do it as gently as you can. And what that does is that it makes it, um, it doesn't disturb it. Or you don't have the potential of ripping your paper, like if you just brush it on, okay? I mean, if you want, you can a little bit, but I wouldn't do it too often, okay? You kind of take it after you get it a little wet, and you can brush it if you like, but I think the best thing is to let it dry really good, and then you're going to take your brush, and you're going to pounce it on. Hi, guys. It's Shami, so I'm back. So um, I want to show you um, how you are going to decorate this now. So we have this. We did a couple coats on, um, oops, ooh. Wow. On um, on our white bee container, so it's Mod Podge. I did a couple coats of Mod Podge on it, um, and I kind of like the way that it turned out. I found this beautiful lace trim that I have hanging around, so that's what I'm actually going to use to trim the edges. So it's very easy. You're just going to hot glue this around your edges. Okay, so. Um, Let's get started. And I got this at the thrift store. Um, so, uh, so, which is kind of cool. It came in a big bag. So, all I'm going to do is just open this up and I'm going to stick a little bit of glue right on the edge. So, let me just bring this up a bit. Okay. And I'm just going to apply some glue and I'm going to stick it right on the glue. Make sure that it's facing up, okay? Great. And you're just going to go all the way around just like that, okay? So I'm just going to make this go all the way around um, just like that, okay? And then I'm going to stop when I get here and then um, we'll do that at the end.
Okay guys, so I'm back. So now we have this back part here that we need to figure out how to cover. Um, you could have just went all the way around and that would have been okay. But um, I'm kind of running low on lace. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up and I'm going to run it right down the center. Okay, just like that. Okay. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun here and I'm going to run it right, around, right up that edge down below maybe and a little bit up top just a little bit as close as you can get it to that and then you're just going to stick your lace right down just like that okay and this just adds a little bit of decorativeness okay And that part needs to sit down a little bit more, so we'll just add a little bit of hot, a little bit more hot glue, just like that, to the places where you think it goes. Okay. And then I'll just cut off that edge, and that might need to be glued down too. We can just put a dot of glue there. So you have this beautiful diaper case that you can give to someone um, for their wipes. And it's beautiful, the beautiful, like in a beautiful um, diaper bag or whatever. But look, it's very nice. It has a lot of, it's just really beautiful with all the lace. So if you want to see um, how I would give this to someone, I would combine it with something really cool. So um, it's actually going to be like a wrap that you put around this in diapers that someone can just throw in their diaper bag and not worry. So I will put the link down below on that DIY too. But um, thank you so much for watching and remember to like and subscribe. I do a new DIY every Friday. So um, make sure that you subscribe and you never know what I'm working on. Thanks and have a nice day.